Hey guys, it's John P. with GeekBeat TV, and today we have a very special unboxing. I'm excited because we've got the PowerMig 180 Dual, and we're going to unbox it right now. So, our friends over at Lincoln Electric sent us two special packages today. One is this brand new PowerMig 180. We're going to open that up, and I'll tell you about it in a second, and another... I have no idea what it is. This is a mystery box. So there's nothing on the outside to indicate what it is. We'll find out what's in there, but let's do that last. First, I'm excited. I want to bust into this power MIG. Um, this is a welding machine. It is a MIG welding machine, which is also sometimes called a wire feed welder. Um, the way that these machines work is the metal that you're welding with comes in a spool that sits inside the machine and it goes through a gun and you pull a trigger and it comes out the end and bang, you're welding. Now, what ordinarily happens with welders is you have to choose to either buy kind of a, I don't know, let's call it hobbyist level welder that can operate off a 110 outlet or you buy a more professional level welder that can operate on a 220. This one though is unique because it will operate in both modes. So I think this is a great welder, uh, at least from the specs. I'll let you know once I've had a chance to play with it, but it looks like it'll be a great welder for both the beginner and for at least intermediate, if not professional type folks, because it's it will allow you to start out with normal 110 outlets that you have in your house, your garage. And then if you feel like stepping it up a notch, you could always have a 220 outlet installed. Anyway, let's look at it. So I'm unboxing it here, pulled out the foam. We've got a big red welder. I like that it has a handle on top. This machine is heavy. This overall box weighs 86 pounds. So we'll pull this out in a second. I've got some other accessories here. Um, it does come with a gas regulator. That's important because when we're welding, uh, MIG welding, a lot of times we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be using a shielded, a gas shielded method for welding. We've got two different plugs. This is the part that I really like. Um, so I can't wait to see how these plug in. But notice on this one we've got a 110, and on this one we've got a 220 and uh, they both have a funky little plug-in thing there. So we've got a couple of cables. We have a gun, a MIG welding gun. That's what we call these things. So we'll, we'll unwind that in a second. And what else do we have? We've got manuals and instructions. Who knows if I'll actually read the instructions. Just kidding, Lincoln guys. I will read the instructions. Okay, let's see. Anything else in here? Just the machine. So. I'm gonna slide this off the end. Another advantage, even though this machine is a lot heavier than the kind that you might have seen me show off at like Lowe's, uh, it's still much lighter than a really big 220 machine. The ones that I have at my house weigh probably 250 to 300 pounds, so you can't pick them up, up at all. What I really like about this is Sometimes people ask me if I will come over to their house or come somewhere and weld something for them, but I simply can't because they don't have a 220 outlet. With this, I could actually take this over to someone's house and use the 110 outlet that they have to do a repair. So let's check that out first. We've got the two cables here. I'm just going to cut them apart. It looks like it's got a screw-in type connector. And uh, I see a lot of different pins right there. So let me unwrap this. And I'm going to assume, ah, there's some little plastic kind of ribs around the outside edge. So I guess you can only really put it in one way. There you go, you put it in like that. And then this seems to be screw up oh, and it locked in place. So that's screwed in and locked in, and bingo, now we've got a 110 outlet. So that's very cool. Now this little, this little threaded portion here, that's going to be for our incoming gas that we use if we're going to do some sort of shielded 
um, gas type welding. Let's take a look at the front. So we've got our welding, MIG welding gun here. I'm going to disconnect these little twisty ties so we can get access to it. And there we go. Okay, we'll cut these zip ties carefully so as not to damage the torch itself. Boy, that one is tough. There we go. Okay. So the way this works is this end is going to plug in right about here. Let's see here. It's going to go right in there somewhere. And then this piece will connect. Let's see. It only goes one way. Oh, there we go. Like that. And screw it in. Okay. So I don't have this fully connected yet. There's also a couple of other cables here. There's a big uh, negative uh, grounding cable that we'll need to attach to stuff. And this is the uh, hose that you use for the gas. One end will connect here and one end will connect to this if we're doing shielded gas welding. So we'll worry about that later on. So once this is done and we've got this screwed in, the, the torch tip is ready to go. Um, if we you can take this off, you see there's a shiny new little electrode in there. Um, the wire passes through here and comes out from a spool and that spool would be on the inside. So let's take a look inside. Ah, everything's all, oh wow, they even included welding wire. So this is inner shield welding wire. You'll notice this says it's flux cord wire. That kind of wire can be used without any sort of shielding gas. So there's a nice one pound spool of that. And they also included uh, one spool of mild steel. For this one, we'll need to use a shielding gas. We've got some other hardware in here. Oh, spare tips. And uh, these are roller pieces in here. We'll put that together later when I do a full on review. And we've got the clamp. This clamp goes with our big thick wire here so that we can ground things. We'll wire this into here and connect it uh, to our material that we're, we're welding. And what's this? Oh, it's a bag. And I have seen the way this works. They, they give you this nice bag that actually will connect up under here, I believe, something along these lines. Um, and it will let you hang tools off the other side of the welder here. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Put your spare parts and things in there. So uh, that's it. That's the that's the way this goes together. To be honest, I mean, it took about what five minutes, six minutes to do this unboxing. If I wasn't doing it on video, I could just about be ready to go right now. I mean, a couple of bolts and we put that wire in there, we could be welding. So that's very cool. And then when we want to, if I go home, let's say we have a one, uh, 220 outlet, just pull this plug off, put that one in, good to go. Let's see what's in the mystery box they sent. That's always unexpected to find extra stuff. Okay. Ooh, looks like goodies. Wow, a lot of goodies. Okay, here we've got a nice Lincoln Electric bag, duffel bag, complete with carabiner. That's pretty nice. Safety glasses. Safety first, people. Some nice gloves. 
Lincoln Electric gloves and also some more gloves. These are, obviously you can see these just cover the hand. These give you more full arm protection. A welding cap. These are cool because you put it on your head like this and you tie the back and uh, you look like a hardcore like biker dude. What else we got here? Some welding sleeves. So one of the things that when you're welding, uh, that obviously our friends over at Lincoln want to make sure we're being really safe. When you're welding, you have to protect everything, especially your arms and your chest and neck, because as you're welding, radiation is coming off of that material. It's so hot and it will give you sunburn. So you could, you could um, even weld in like a short sleeve shirt, not that anybody would recommend that, if you have these on, because these are these will cover up your arms so you wear your gloves you wear that and you know you could get away with it so welding sleeves a jacket we got a welding jacket very nice and this is actually a cotton material which is nice because um, full leather jackets get really hot especially in the uh, Texas heat here let's see let's see how this one works so um, wow, it's really nice. Red and black. The sleeves are leather. And I like that it has a Velcro collar there, which will zip up. So let's see how that looks. Feels good. We'll be all Lincoln, we'll be all Lincoln red and black here real soon. So I'd say it's a good looking jacket. It's a lot lighter and cooler than, than like I said, a full on leather jacket. Let's see, we got one more big box in here. Nice, the Viking welding helmet. So this welding helmet is an auto darkening helmet. Very good looking. Wow, and it's got a humongous screen. So what you got to think of is when you have this thing on your head, um, the biggest, uh, the hardest thing is to see your working material. So when you put this down, you want to have as much visibility as possible. So this has a gigantic screen here and you can see inside there are little adjustment knobs which adjust the sensitivity and the delay how fast it reacts to detecting a welding spark, and then the shade, how dark it gets, which you need to use different shades of darkness to protect your eyes, depending on the welding process you've used. And it looks like there's also a bag for it, so very cool stuff. All right, well, I'm just, I don't even know what to do. I just wanna go home right now and start welding, so you guys stay tuned. We'll do another like tutorial video on how to set it up and how to start welding with it. Maybe do a little project or something, show you how well the uh, power MIG performs. And uh, that's it. So stay tuned. We'll be back with more. You guys, thumbs up on GeekBeat, youtube.com forward slash GeekBeatTV, and we'll see you later. You know you want to play with this, Ken. I really like